We now come to the 10 minute rule bill. I call Celine Saxby. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I beg to move that leave be given to bring a bill to prohibit the use of disposable barbecues on open moorland, on beaches, in areas of outstanding natural beauty, and in certain other areas designated for environmental protection, to give local authorities the power to prohibit the sale of disposable barbecues in their area and for connected purposes. This year has seen us reach unprecedented temperatures in the UK. These rising temperatures, combined with the droughts we saw this summer, turned the UK into a tinderbox. We have previously operated as a cold country, but whilst we are working hard to limit the extent of climate change, we need to recognise that these conditions are likely to become more regular. This year saw over 700 wildfires burning 70 square miles of some of our most vulnerable and precious habitats. For what? The right to scold a sausage anywhere of your choosing, regardless of the risks. We need to adjust our approach to hot weather, and one of the products that causes some of the biggest issues to local communities is disposable barbecues. This bill is not proposing to ban the Great British Barbecue. Instead, it is seeking to make sure we can all enjoy our beautiful beaches and countryside safely without damaging them. It is difficult to ascertain exactly how many fires are caused by disposable barbecues. There is no clear identifier on the fire service's national incident reporting system. Even for my local fire service, Devon and Somerset, they believe that this is the main cause to local underreporting of the fires caused by single-use barbecues. This summer, a fire at Baggy Point in North Devon was caused by an innocuous accident. People had set a disposable barbecue on a rocky area along the coast. However, the wind picked up the lightweight barbecue and blew it up to the gorseland above. 20 acres of gorseland was burnt, destroying the habitats and nesting sites of a number of species. Baggy Point is a site of special scientific interest, and it could take decades to recover to its former glory. The fire took significant resources at a busy time for our services. It took 70 firefighters a full day to put out. This reflects the general trend, which shows that whilst there has been a slight drop in the number of fires, there has been an increase in the time and resources taken to fight them. Dorset and Wiltshire Fire Services recently detailed just how much it costs to put out a significant wildfire. One fire of theirs costs over half a million pounds and four million litres of water to put out. Whilst disposable barbecues only cost a few pounds, their impact can be so much more than that. 78% of local authorities have experienced fires caused by disposable barbecues. This is despite 49% of local authorities having bans in place and 64% having signage to discourage use. Whilst fires are the most obvious issue of single-use barbecues, the intrinsic problem is the cooling period. They are impregnated with highly flammable emollients, taking hours to cool down. And even when they have, they can still spontaneously relight. This means people cannot move them when they have finished with them, so leave them still burning or carry them when cool enough to pick up but still smouldering to a bin. Manufacturers' instructions warn against picking up the appliance until it is completely cooled, a process that takes many more hours than most consumers are prepared to give when they head out to the countryside. They are simply not fit for purpose. 88% of local authorities report having to deal with litter from these barbecues. This litter can damage the grass it is placed on, harm wildlife, and if used on sand, it heats up and can cause injuries to children and pets. Every summer, there are reports of injuries from hot sand on which barbecues are sat, as well as from those which have been buried within the sand. Companies claim that their products can reach up to 400 degrees centigrade. Whilst the sand is obviously inflammable, it can hold heat for hours at a time. The most serious of these injuries involves treatment by skin grafts and a long stretch in hospital. We have successful campaigns every summer to educate people about the risks of the water in hot weather. It is time that we similarly take control of the risks that these disposable barbecues cause. Yeah. The heat that these barbecues give off also causes damage when people do attempt to dispose of them. 68% of local authorities say that they have caused damage to bins, 
And occasionally, these fires can also injure frontline waste removal workers. This year saw a barbecue reignite inside a bin lorry. Even when people try to do the right thing, they are causing damage to local amenities. Hazardous waste should not be so easily available, especially in areas of significant importance. In Keep Britain Tidy's survey of local authorities, it was highlighted that the use of disposable barbecues was most problematic in areas near supermarkets or high streets. This implies that it is casual use by consumers, unaware of the risks that lead to most of the issues. And this is echoed in the response from the Devon and Somerset Fire Service, who noted that whilst there may have been fewer fires than they had anticipated during the hot weather nearer to the supermarkets, they did want to praise the supermarkets who did this summer take the initiative to ban these products. However, relying on retailers to decide whether or not they will stop the temporary sale of disposable barbecues is simply not sufficient. As a society, the British public have made it clear that it is moving away from single-use culture. We have made great strides to reduce our plastic with the banning of plastic straws, the massive uptake of reusable cups and bottles, and more and more people incorporating multi-use products into their lives. However, disposable barbecues are still the predominant portable barbecue that people choose to use. For the cost of only a few pounds, people can set up their own portable fire. Whilst the companies that make these products are at pains to point out that each individual element is recyclable, that is complicated to separate out and does not take into account where and when people will be seeking to dispose of them. People are not going to separate out scorching metal and coals into public waste bins. And if they do, as I pointed out earlier, that is not always a safe option. I am looking forward to the outcome of DEFRA's research project on Sky Lanterns, barbecues and helium balloons and understand that the government does not want to prematurely act on any sort of blanket ban. However, this bill is seeking to ban their use in a very limited way and to enable local authorities to act where we know that there is a high risk of disposable barbecues causing serious damage. Once upon a time, you could smoke on aeroplanes, and we used to think that was OK, whereas it is completely unacceptable now. And I hope that we will look back on today and wonder why disposable barbecues already banned in France, the United States and even Australia, the home of the barbecue, were ever considered acceptable. 88% of councils that responded to the Keep Britain Tidy survey said they would like to see the government intervene on single-use barbecues, the highest response to any question asked. Over 27,000 people signed a petition to completely ban the sale and use of disposable barbecues in the UK. We cannot continue to allow the right to scold a sausage anywhere to cause so much damage and destruction, cost so much to our vital public services when dealing with disposable barbecue debris. The time to act is now. The question is that, that the Honourable Member have leave to bring in the bill. As many as are of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it, the ayes have it. Who will prepare and bring in the bill? Sally Ann Hart, Flick Drummond, Jane Hunt, Simon Fell, Ian Little Granger, Sir Gary Streeter, Theresa Villiers, Neil Hudson, Derek Thomas, Ian Levy, Caroline Noakes, and myself, Mum. Selene Saxby. Yeah. Disposable barbecues bill. Second reading, what day? Friday, the 20th of January, 2023. Friday, the 20th of January, 2023. Thank you.